Hey guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my everyday makeup look. And this makeup routine consists mainly of drugstore products. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Boo! Hi! Say hi! His name is Chuna. Okay, so... Uh, the first step in my makeup routine is um, I wash my face. Okay, I can see myself inverted right now and it's really, it's throwing me off. It's, it's really throwing me off, but whatever. Um, the first step in my makeup routine, I just wash my face and I put on <laughs> his little bowls. Um, I just wash my face and I put on a serum and I use the Ordinary Alpha Arbutin in the morning. And then I use the CeraVe, okay, it looks so dirty, the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF. Um, so I'm going to put that on. Okay, I'm like running out, so I have to like take it out of this. Chuna, stop it. Okay, so one thing about this moisturizer, like it's good, but it leaves like a horrible, horrible, horrible white cast. So, I mean, oh my gosh, can you, okay, um, I'm gonna put this on, okay, you know what's crazy, like, when something's inverted, I, I don't know, like, what I'm doing, so, bear with me, please, so, I'm just gonna apply this on your neck as well. The next step is I use this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist as kind of like a primer because when I spray this on, it kind of like locks my my moisturizer in. And I really, 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 really love this setting spray. Um, The packaging is like this because it was like the holiday special, but the usual packaging comes in like a black bottle, but it's so good. It's so good. Um, I'm just going to spray some onto my face. And I'm going to gonna let it dry a little bit then while oh hi okay while that dries i'm going to prepare my eyebrows so my eyebrows like i don't know how to explain it okay i know how to explain it i don't know how to do my eyebrows like one day it comes out good it comes out like the perfect shape but most times it comes out way too blocky and way too like way too blocky and way too much like powder and really dark so i just don't know how to do my eyebrows like consistently so what i've been doing is i haven't been putting like any powder straight on my eyebrows my eyebrows is like oh my god my hair is all white now okay so i haven't been putting like any powder on my eyebrow because what i would do usually i would take like a brown eyeshadow take like an angled brush and like do it but it's I don't know it comes out so blocky I hate it so what I do now is I'm just gonna brush out my eyebrows let me get in closer I'm gonna brush out my eyebrows and then what I'm gonna do is instead of putting like eyeshadow like I usually would I'm just gonna put some concealer and like shape out my eyebrows and the concealer that I'm using today is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It has been my favorite for like a couple of days now. Um, I've had it for a long time, but it's just the shade wasn't like that right. Um, so I just left it in my drawer, but now the winter is here. It's like, this concealer is so good guys, you guys have to try it. It was like $7 and it's so chef's kiss and it is pretty long lasting and really nice and blendable um but my favorite before this is the covergirl true plan undercover concealer this one is really 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 good too it's just that i had it so i thought you know might as well use it so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take this is like a lip brush but i use it for my eyebrows i don't know if you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to put some concealer under my eyebrow to shape it. Okay. Okay. Okay, why does it look like that? <laughs> like it looks good IRL, but I want it to look good for the oomph as well. 
Okay, so now that I shaped it out, um, you can see what it looks like. There's a bit too much concealer on this one, uh, but that's okay because I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelid. Um, and I'm going to blend it out with the damn beauty blender. Oh my gosh, I look so silly. Um, but yeah. If this concealer is really good because I have really, really, really bad, like, dark circles and, like, just dark eyelids. And I feel like it does a good job of hiding that. So I'm just going to blend it out. I'm going to go in with this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This product is so good. It's, like, literally, like, $3. And it holds your brows in place, like, the whole day. So I'm going to put some in, and I'm going to move on to the next step, which is eyeshadow. I just used this brush. Okay, I've had this brush since 2015. Yeah, it came in the Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I still use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes Palette. Okay, it's dirty as heck because it's she's um, she's old as well. She's probably from 2017 or 18. Yeah. But well, she's really good. I really like her pal- Oh my gosh. I really like this palette. Uh, I'm just gonna go in my whole lid like this with the shade Peach Cobbler. You can tell I really like it. Um, I used to use this shade for my eyebrows and I'm like fully out. But yeah. I'm gonna go in with Peach Cobbler over my whole entire lid and just blend it. I'm just doing this super quick. I don't have a technique. Just back and forth, back and forth. And like little circles. Okay, so this is what I would usually do if it were any other day. Um, I would just like do the rest of my makeup, put on my lashes and like call it a day for my eyeshadow. But um, I also have another go-to look, which is a bit more extra with like liquid liner. That's what I'm going to do today. Um, so for the next step in that routine, I'm going to go in with this Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions Palette. You can see I'm obsessed with it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go in with the white shade here. And take like the flat side of my brush and just grab some. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid. Well, like, I'm not going to hit the crease. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, make it like a faux cut crease. So just end it where your lid closes. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm just going to put a lot of white shadow. Although this palette is really good. Like, the pigment in these shades, quite baby. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow like my eyeball and I'm not gonna like put it all the way to my crease just put a lot a lot a lot a lot okay it looks so silly now but just you wait okay so it looks like this I look insane uh, but then I'm just gonna go in with like the fluffy side and like blend it together to make it seamless we have to look okay I'm just gonna blend it blend it to connect to the two shades you know next step is doing a wing liner today I'm using okay this looks so bad but I'm using the NYC black liquid liner this was like my favorite liquid line yeah, liquid liner ever. It was so good. It was like super, super black, super long lasting. And it was only $4 at Shankutsu. But unfortunately, it got discontinued. Um, I don't know why everything I like literally gets discontinued. Um, but I'm going to use this today. This is the last bottle that I have. And it's probably going to be the last bottle I have ever. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations for really good black long lasting drugstore liquid eyeliners please let me know in the comments because i need a new brand i just did my eyeliner and this eye came out really good and this eye uh, kind of came out a little bit shit or whatever um we move so this is my eyeshadow look it's pretty simple two shades one liquid liner um the next step is foundation 
And for foundation, I used the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup Lotion in the shade W6, like my winter shade. Um, this foundation is literally so good. I recommend it to everyone. It's um, it's like $20 at the drugstore, which is kind of expensive for my liking for the drugstore. Um, but it goes on sale often. Um, it's like super blendable. I think it says, yeah, it says super blendable. Um, you can do like a little bit if you want a little bit of coverage. Wait, someone's in the balcony. Okay. Uh, you can do a little bit if you want a little bit of coverage, but you can build it up to make it a bit more full coverage. And, um, they have a nice shade range at Pharma Prix. So, I'd recommend it. It's really good. And also, like, I feel like with this, a little bit goes a long way. So what I like to do is I just like putting some on my hands. Oh my gosh, please don't mind my dry hands. I have like eczema in the winter. And what I like to do is I like to blow it out. So it's nice and even, like so. And then I'm going to start on my cheeks. And build it, like, start on my cheeks and take it out like that. I used to start right on my nose, but that was such a bad idea because there's so much product on it at first and my nose is like the first spot that would get oily and it'll like break down. It look it looked quite funky. So I'm just gonna put some on my chin and on my forehead. Okay, I have a really big forehead. I'm sorry. And also on my neck. <laughs> And now I'm going to take the excess, the remaining product on my beauty blender and put it on my nose. And then to fully blend it, I'm going to use like the side of my blender. Before I was using the butt to apply it all over and I'm just going to use the side. Um, so after I put on the foundation, I'm going to go back in with the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is a shade Tan Latte. And what I'm going to do is... I don't know about you guys, but I used to put it like a triangle, but that's not good. Like that's way too much product for no reason. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little dollop in the center like this. You see, and then I'm gonna drag this out like this. Do you see that? So I drag it out like that because it creates like a little bit of an effect that 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 goes up. So I'm going to start blending it in the middle, blending it in the middle, and bringing it to the corner of my eye, <clears throat> excuse me, bringing it to the corner of my eye, like so, and that, um, when that's blended, I'm going to drag it out like this, and bring it to your temple. Bring it to your temple and blend it. And I'll do like swinging motions. Now so you want to like dab it like this and not drag it out. Slowly pat 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 pat. You should follow like the motion of your liner that goes up. Like just like that. And I'm just going to use my pinky finger to kind of get the inner corner, inner corner, because it's hard to blend that spot. Okay. So once that's blended, I'm going to do the other eye. Usually I do both eyes at the same time, but it's for the sake of the tutorial. So, so when I drag it out, I can just use like the side of the blender, like so. This is a major bra moment. Um... Oh my god. What the heck? Okay, but before my concealer dries out, um, I'm gonna set it with the airspun loose. Oh my god. I'm gonna set it with the airspun loose setting powder. Um, it looks busted because she's also very old. Um, I put some on my lid. And since my beauty blender is quite damp still, I'm gonna grab some powder like so like this much and then really push it into my skin oh I put a bit I put a bit much let me see okay that's a bit much so I would use a little bit less and push it 
push it into my skin. Push it into my skin. So I'm gonna go back in for the other eye and push it in to my skin. So it really, you know, it really meshes together, do you know what I mean? So after my under eyes, I don't put powder over my whole face. Um, I just feel like I'm not that oily like um, on other spots. So I just, I just don't do it. I don't know. I don't have an explanation. But before I forget, I'm just going to put some lip balm on. This is, um, this is the Baby Lips lip balm. I don't know how, when it's from. Oh my goodness. They don't want to see me win. Okay, so it's important to moisturize the lips. You know, you don't want crusty lips or whatever. Um, so after I put my under eye powder, I'm going to go in with bronzer. And this is my favorite bronzer ever. It's like my fourth bronzer. I've been using it for a long time. It's the uh, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I use the shade Bronzer. Um, but they have different shades as well. Um, this bronzer is so good. Like, it smells good. It blends in really, really nice. And it's also from the drugstore. It's a little bit expensive at the drugstore. Not gonna lie, it's like $20. Um, but it's worth it. It's so good. And I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's a Real Techniques Multitask Brush. It looks like this. Um, how often do you guys wash your brushes? Because I don't think I do it often enough. Apparently, you're supposed to, um, wash your beauty... Oh my gosh. Apparently, you're supposed to wash your beauty blender after each use. Sorry. Wait, in the past, I would go in, like, like this. But now, what I do, I go in more of, like, a straight line, like this. So, I follow my temple. So, this is where I would usually do it, like, under here. But I'm going to do a bit higher, like right on the bone in the temple. Because I feel like that kind of lifts your face more than if I were doing it like so. So I'm going to use my temple as a guide. I actually need a brush, a uh, mirror. Um, I'm going to use my temple as a guide and then just drag it like this right on, the, on my cheekbone. Like this. I don't know if, that's, if that makes sense. But yeah. I use my temple as a guide, start really really high and then bring it down like in a line and not like curved. Then I put a lot of bronzer. I need my mirror. Yeah. So if, I don't know if that makes sense. Just like this. Hello. Okay, it's inverted, but I'm going to switch to that. I really have to. Okay, and then I'm going to go in like this all along my hairline. So where I started from the temple, I'm going to drag it up along my hairline. To be way up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also along my jaw here. My, my jaw. And bring it to like the back side. So yeah, like the pro tip here would be to use your temple as a guide. So temple to hairline and then temple to like down you have a towards your lips. You have a guest star on the show? Yeah, he said hi first. Oh. Okay, so for the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm going to take this um, eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. I'm going to grab just a little bit of product and um, go along my nose on like both sides. I wouldn't really call it contouring because it doesn't do much contouring. I'm just going to bronze my nose. Um, I mess up a lot of times on this step. A lot of times I put way too much or it's like crooked. But I just, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Bismillah. I think I messed it up. Yeah. It's definitely definitely not good. Oh my gosh, it looks so bad. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger to kind of blend it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this bl uh, brush from e.l.f. as well because it's really it's really fluffy. I'm gonna try to blend it. 
Okay, yeah, that's not so bad. That's it's solved. It's fixed. So yeah, just blend it out with the fluffy brush if you ever mess up like me and put too much or like Okay. Perfect. Um the next step I'm going to use the same brush that I used for my bronzer and I'm going to use it for blush. Um, for blush, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rouge. Um, the butter blush and butter bronzer products are literally so baby. They're so good. Um, it melts like butter, like the packaging says. Um, yeah, it's like really nice and blendable and they have really pretty shades for the blush. And I'm going to grab some of my brush and before what I, I would used to do I would like smile and put it like at the apples of my cheeks but that's such a bad idea because it would just make me look even more round and after I was done smiling it would like fall down you know what I mean so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same technique for my blush as I did for the bronzer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at my cheeks instead of my temple like this and bring it up to the temple yeah, so I'm just going to go from my cheek to my temple. So what I would do for the bronzer is from my temple to my cheek, but now I'm going to do cheek to my temple. Like this. So yeah, once again, like this um, method really like stretches it out instead of like putting it in the apple where it just sits there. I'm going to go in with this, once again, the same brush and put at the tip of my nose like this. And I put a lot. So once that's done, um, that's all the powders that I'm going to put on my face. So I'm going to set it with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist once again. And I'm going to let it dry. And while that dries, I'm going to put on my eyelashes. So the lashes that I use are these ones. And they're from Amazon. I've been using them for a couple of months now. I love them. Um, they look really nice. And they're three dollars. No, they're seven dollars for three pairs. And this is a new pack. I reuse my lashes like a good a good amount. So they're literally so baby. Like like I said, three pairs for seven dollars, which is a good deal. And they're like three D, so you can see it's like fluffy. Um, I'm just gonna put them on off camera. Um, okay, so I put on my lashes off camera. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and I'm going to tight line. So what that means, I'm just going to put some eyeliner on my um, waterline, but the top waterline. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. It's something so simple, but I feel like it looks really, it makes your liner and like your lashes look really blended. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to go in with a little bit of mascara. Um, to just really blend in my real lashes to my fake lashes. And I'm using the Essence Lash Princess. I really love Essence. They have, um, this mascara is really good. The eyeliners are really good. The gel brow. The brow gel is really good, um, and something else. The lip liner is also really good, So, and it's so affordable. Um, the liner was like $3, the gel was $3, the lip liner was $3, and this mascara is like $5. So I'm just going to blend in my lashes together. So once my lashes are blended together, I'm going to go in with a white liner on my waterline. Um, this step really makes your eyes pop. So I'm going to do that. This is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Eyeliner in the shade Arctic White. Ar they were Arctic White. Anyways, um, I'm really going to put a lot. Um, so once I put the liner, I'm going to go in with this brush that I used for my nose, um, the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to put a little bit of peach cobbler, the shade that I used for all over my lid, and put it on my waterline. Well, on my lower lash line. 
and um so my eye makeup is pretty much done what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go in with a lip liner this is a charlotte tilbury lip cheat reshape and resize lip liner in the shade love trap um honestly i don't recommend it because it was like 30 dollars which is like really expensive for a lip liner i only got it because i really 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 wanted to try it um but it's just an average lip liner like the shade is really pretty but there's nothing special about the formula so i don't know why it's 30 dollars uh, and i'm gonna use it to line my lip so i don't really know how to overline because i feel like when i do it it just looks extra so i'm gonna follow like um the shape of my lips <laughs> Okay, so I'm done with my lip liner. Um, I don't feel like putting like a lipstick because I think the color is it's like matching my shirt. Um, usually I would go in with the uh, Rimmel Love Bite liquid lipstick. It's really such a good liquid lipstick. Um, but I'm really liking the color right now, so I'm going to keep it like that. Okay, so after the lip liner, I'm pretty much done. I topped it off with a little bit of setting spray, but you don't have to. Um, so this is what the final makeup look looks like. Um, it's my everyday makeup look. Um, it might not be everyday for some people, but... I love it um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope my instructions were clear and yeah make sure to like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching bye